Hey guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're going musky fishing. I've got some unfinished business with those river musky from a few weeks ago. So I'm waiting on the girls right now. It's freezing cold. It's early, but we've got the kayaks loaded up. Cece, Sierra, my sister-in-law, Emily, they're all coming with me. We're going to go back out, drift the river, and see if we can get some musky out of the kayak. This place is incredible. We told you in the last river drifting video, one of the biggest reasons we moved to Tennessee was because there were so many different options, so much variety. I mean, look at this. Check this out. We're just drifting down a river, nobody around. Have not been bit yet, but that's game with the muskie. Hopefully we get a shot today. Either way, we're gonna have a blast. It is freezing cold, however. It was 48 when we launched and then a cold wind came up when we got about a quarter mile down and it is chilly, but that's all right. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Got her. Come here. Come here. Get in that net. I got her. Woo! Check that out. That's awesome. <laughs> First day of actual musky fishing. 
got one. Here come my girls. That was awesome. That's awesome. First day musky fishing. She ate a bucktail. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm gonna get her back in the net for a second, get her length, and then we'll turn her loose. Ah! Or we'll just or we'll just turn her loose. That's good too. That is a major part of why we moved to this part of the country. Not just musky, but the ability to fish for all sorts of different species in a relatively small area. That was awesome. This is what that fish ate. It's a blue fox, a Vibrax spinner. I mean, standard musky stuff. We don't have a clue what we're doing, but double bladed on a standard. I mean, it's literally my swim bait setup. The same Loomis that we always talk about, the 966 with the Tranks 300. The only difference is you're talking 135 pound liter instead of our standard 35 pound liter, but everything else is the exact same. That was fun. Good job, Sierra. Let him go. Throw him, throw him back. Tell him thank you. Thank you. Let him go back to his family. Good job. Oh, I just missed one. Here he comes, here he comes. Do it, do it. He's on it, he's on it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come back up. He's gone. I just got slammed. We almost got a second one. He came up, ate it, and just didn't hook up. Came up again, turned off, and then came up and went through the figure eight before bailing off. Got him, got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh my Lord, that's a big one. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It's so big. Oh. Yes! Yes! You've got to be kidding me! I don't know what the other one was, but this one is right at, we're measuring the longest tip, right at 40 inches. All right, let me get them in the water. All right, we're gonna turn this one loose. She 
she's exhausted, so we'll give her a minute. Oh, she's not as tired as I thought. There she goes. That is crazy. Two fish in one day, got a third bite. We're not even done. We're learning a lot today. All right, guys, we're, we're nearing the end of the run, so I think we'll wrap it up here. That was incredible, such a blessing. Two fish on the first real day chasing them. And you guys don't know, I have a musky sickness. I own boxes of musky baits that I've collected over the last 10 years, and I've never stuck a, even a decent musky. I've caught tiny ones, but never even a decent musky until today to have the family with me to get to catch two of them that was incredible some of it was was a little bit crazy that first net job was a disaster i know a year from now i'll look back at that footage and just laugh at myself but it was so awesome uh, a couple of takeaways one the platform was awesome i mean don't miss that we are spot locked in a river right now. <laughs> Everything is just flowing around us. You definitely need a stable platform for those big fish, whether that's a kayak or a boat or anything else. Uh, but this boat was plenty stable for that. Uh, any other takeaways? I need a bigger net if I'm gonna keep chasing these things. It's a fantastic net, it does a great job, but when I'm sitting down trying to net them, I just did not have the angle to get under those fish. So I think I'm gonna try and grab one with an even bigger hoop, which is crazy to put a mega net on a kayak, but I'm gonna give it a try. Other than that, it was awesome. I'll link the gear for you down in the video description. It's obviously not typical gear, although the rod and reel was. It's awesome that our regular swim bait gear turned out to be perfect for this i'm really excited about that we don't have to buy a bunch of extra equipment because make no mistake i have got the bug you know what one other thing sunglasses notice i'm wearing my ambers my regular eye surrenders but the amber lenses same thing i wear when i'm sight fishing for largemouth being able to see in the water was critical i saw a total of four muskie today and I think without glasses, the only one I would have seen was the one that ate right at the boat. I mean, obviously I would have seen that one, but the others, I don't think I would have seen them or at least not as far out. And that is key. So if you're going to chase these or any other fish, glasses are a major part of that. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I had a blast. I hope you did too. I'll talk to you soon.